In 1909, in the Hearthside House on Abraham Lincoln's birthday, uh, the Park Service was born. And the Park Service was born with the acquisition of Lincoln Woods. The big political issue at the time was the so-called 10-hour day. And people were lobbying so that they could only work 10 hours. And that was six days a week. That was Monday through Saturday. The only days off they had uh, were Sundays. And so when the parks came along, uh, a lot of the park programs began as Sunday programs because that was a time when people could take advantage uh, of them. But in 1893, uh, the horse-drawn trolleys were replaced by electric trolleys. And with the replacement uh, and the coming of the electric trolleys, uh, the number uh, of miles of trackage uh, expanded tremendously. And so many of the people uh, arrived at these parks by, by taking uh, public transit, uh, namely the trolleys. Well, Rhode Island State Parks are important because they provide people an opportunity uh, not only to socialize, I think you'll find in our state parks virtually every ethnic group, doesn't matter what uh, economic class you come from, it's a, it's a great place to, to, for society to mingle. They're great playgrounds, they're, they're churches for the soul in the sense that you get to engage nature, you get to come here, you get to contemplate. Uh, there are a variety of state parks that basically are their own personalities, so there's literally something for everyone. If you like a pristine barrier beach, or you like a secluded woodland, or you like a complex like here at Colt State Park, I mean, this is just an absolute marvel of nature. People get to come here, they get to relieve themselves of the stress of everyday life and urban pressures, uh, and so they truly are a relief valve uh, that, that contributes to our quality of life. You know, personally, uh, I can recall being a child in Providence growing up in the Smith Hill neighborhood, and at that time my grandfather, who was fortunate enough to own a, an old Ford sedan, who, who would take me in the summertime to Lincoln Woods State Park, which was my first experience. I remember back in the uh, in the 60s when Bob Dylan was like the crown prince of the folk festival and uh, Joan Baez was the crown princess. And the fact that it was here at, at Fort Adams State Park, man, everything. This is one of the most beautiful sights in the world. People in Rhode Island don't know how lucky they are to have so many parks that are available to them and they're open to them, they're not closed. I really believe that the health of our state is tied to the health of our parks. They provide healthy, beautiful places that attract people, make them feel good. These are places that we need to take care of and steward for the future. These are places that we expect our grandchildren to visit 100 years from now. Some of the happiest memories that Rhode Island families have have taken place in the parks and I think as long as that kind of loyalty and, and uh, 
uh, uh, nostalgia continues that, that, that the parks have a very good future.